Good afternoon, I am Rita Cucchiara. I am presenting you the work we are carrying out here at University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, together with uh, the group of Alberto del Bimbo at University of Florence in Italy, about uh, the um, computer vision for uh, augmented experience in cultural heritage and art. Cultural experiences are reaching in these years with many human control technologies. Internet of Things, mobile phones, multimedia guides, suggestion by social networks. The next step will be augmented experiences by means of real-time, concurrent automated processing of media. And computer vision can play a major role for understanding what the people see and cooperate with users as an augmented sense. Vision should improve the enjoyment of interactive with the cultural heritage, looking at art instead of looking at the devices, by means of environmental vision with outdoor or, or indoor surveillance cameras, and egocentric vision with cameras on wearable devices, such as in these experiments in Modena around the UNESCO site of the Romanic Duomo. Computer vision can recognize what the visitor is looking at, georeferenciation and other sensors are absolutely less precise to detect your point of attention. For instance, it can distinguish friends that are with you to other people and track the object of interest as the lion in Modena Cathedral that I'm observing since is emotionally related when I was a child and I was used to climb it. Computer vision can help to interact with cultural objects by recognizing self-gestures. Here in the Maramotti Museum of Modern Art in Reggio Emilia, the system can learn and recognize what you like or not, to remember it after the visit. In the system, we extract hands by superpixel segmentation, detect key points, extract special temporal features and classify them according with personal gestures learned by few examples. I presented you some results of an ongoing two years project supported by Modena Casa di Risparmio Foundation and by the Muir Dicet project. Now instead, Alberto del Bimbo will present you some results carried out in Firenze. Hi, this is Alberto del Bimbo. I will shortly give you an overview of the Mnemosyn project where we have developed the vision system to improve the quality of the cultural experience of a visitor in the Bargello Museum in Florence, Italy. You see here a panorama of the Donatello's Hall. It's huge and contains a number of masterpieces by some of the most famous Italian artists of the 15th century. You can see here the layout of the installation. There are four camera sensors in the hall. A computer vision system detects the visitors as they get close to the artworks. Nearby the whole exit, there is a tabletop where the visitor can find records of stories of the artwork. During the visit, computer vision performs detection and re-identification of the visitors. This makes it possible to interpret which are the most preferred artworks and present only their story records. You see the people detections and the ellipses that indicate the area around the artworks. Detection and re-identification are respectful of the individual's privacy. No biometric information is captured or retained. Much of the quality of re-identification is due to the descriptor of the visitor appearance that we have defined. It exploits coarse striped pooling of local features to have some posing variants and a center support kernel to distinguish foreground from background. More details are in our PEMI paper, Person Re-Identification by Iterative Re-Weighted Sparse. As the visitor gets next to the tabletop, a new detection is made and compared with the thousands of detections of the four cameras. In a few seconds, the re-identification is completed and the visitor's profile estimated is presented on the tabletop surface. The level of the green fluid indicates the visitor's degree of interest for each artwork.
The visitor can interactively select the most preferred pieces of information, take a reading of the content, and download it 